In this video, I introduce the entropy contributions for an ideal gas. So for an ideal gas, the entropy has four contributions, conformation, translation, rotation, and vibration. Uh, the conformation comes from this equation, uh, R times the natural log of G, which is the number of conformations with the same energy. In later videos, I'll show you an example of this. Then you have this fairly complicated formula for the translation, which can be um, written or simplified like this. If I pick, this is for the standard translational entropy, so the standard pressure here is one bar, in which case I can reduce it to this. If I use this, I have to remember to use uh, or give the molecular weight of the molecules in grams per mole. And of course, I always use Kelvin for the temperature. Then I have the rotational trend, uh, entropy. Here I just give it for a nonlinear molecule. The equation is slightly different for a linear molecule. Uh, and you have everything here we've talked about before, except I, which is the moment of inertia, which there are three. Uh, in general, these are pretty hard to calculate, so um, we won't really discuss these further. Finally, you have the vibrational entropy. And again, here I use wave numbers in inverse centimeters rather than frequency, although I'll, I'm sure I'll refer to these as frequencies. And just like for the enthalpy, you have contributions from each vibration, and a nonlinear molecule has 3n minus 6 vibrations, and a linear molecule has 3n minus 5. Okay, so what is the standard translational entropy for an acetylene molecule at 25 degrees Celsius, and how many different vibrations contribute to the vibrational entropy? So press pause, think about it, and when you're ready to answer again, press play. Okay, ready? Okay, let's start with the translational entropy. So we have the gas constant, and then the log. Then we have our constant, which is 1.3177. One seven, sorry. Then we have the mass of acetylene, so we have to compute that. Uh, but I'm willing to bet that if we just Google acetylene, we'll find it. Uh, yes, so 26.04, and in grams per mole, that's exactly the units we want. So 20. 6.04, and that is to the 3 halves power. Uh, I think I'll put that in parentheses. And finally, the temperature, which is 298.15, 25 degrees Celsius. And that's raised to the 5 halves power. Okay, so that uh, should be 149.4. Now, how many vibrations contribute to the vibrational entropy? Uh, if we look at it, we can see that acetylene is a linear molecule. So, 3 times the number of atoms in acetylene. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and then we subtract 5 because it's a linear molecule. And the answer is 7. Let's check these numbers with molecular calculator. So I built acetylene. I have to put a triple bond here. Now I'm ready to calculate. So 
let's look at the vibrational frequencies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven vibrational frequencies. And let's check the thermodynamics. The rotational entropy is over here. Oh, sorry, the translational entropy is over here. And that is, yes, 149.39. And this slide then summarizes the answer, so the right one was 